All right, I don't know how this is gonna work because I've gotta give it time for people to be notified to come on. So I'm gonna watch this clock um, while I chat with you and see who comes on. Give me some hearts. Let me know when you're here, people. All right, so um, David Beck, psychic medium, certified life coach, and published author here. Um, I We have a three-minute challenge right now. We have a three-minute challenge. Um, I got an email this morning, and um, let's demonstrate giving readings in three minutes. Okay, so ask your questions below, please. I have three minutes and it's 1246. So I started this at 1245. So, um, let me know you're here. Let me in. All right, Colette, you're sharing. Cool. Awesome. We got two minutes. Ask questions, people. <laughs> um, so, readings. Um, let's get specific. Ask your question. Generally, I can just go on in and, and, and give. Know that there's a bunch of you here, so I'm getting all of your energies. Um, so one person's question may be a question that you have as well. Um, I live in a place that we are all teachers and students. We all learn and we all grow. The way we grow, the way we learn, the way we teach is by sharing. So, questions? Where are you stuck in your life? Where do you have a challenge? How are you, um, how do you want to embrace your own power? And here's the thing with Facebook Live sometimes. All right, I'm just going to read. Let's forget, not worry about the time. Because this three-minute challenge, yeah, uh, but <laughs> I can get to your issue in three minutes. Under three minutes. Okay, let me let me let me go through the list and do this. Oh, oh, oh. Hey Kenny, how are ya? You got a question? Kenny, I just keep hearing that I get the letter R and I've got to say the name Robert. Would this mean anything for you? Is there um, a Robert that is passed on? I feel like I want to say kind of like a brother, not a brother. What's, what's, I want to say Robert kind of like a brother. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh, challenge failed. <laughs> We're over three minutes. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Ask questions, guys. I'm seeing people here. I'm seeing people here. All right, so three minute challenge. Let's like now, cause the heading of this video is three minute challenge. So how can we change your life in three minutes? Jeannie. Hey Jeannie, me please. Well, okay Jeannie, I wanna ask a question. Um, that, that's how this is working. Just ask your question. Where are you challenged? Oh, Colette. Okay. So Jeannie, while you think of your question, I'm going to read Colette's here. How should I move forward with my book? We had strong friends, family, fan sales, but now I want to get in front of a more unbiased audience. Wow. Hmm. If you want to get in front of a more unbiased I, audience, hmm. Unbiased, right there, I want to say stop judging. Stop judging. Who cares if they're biased or not? You have something to teach. And you actually want to shift those unbiased people's thoughts, yes? Um, so, get out there, Colette. You got to get out there and put yourself out there more and more and more. Put yourself in your book is about not being victimized, yes? So your book is about standing in victor your victorious self. This is what my interpretation of your book is and you sharing your story, how that is done. So you put yourself, 
promote yourself. <laughs> Hello, this world. We're all victims. We're, we all have something to learn from your book. So you just got to put yourself out there everywhere, everywhere. Keep going. All the social media, of course. Yet, we also cannot hide behind the social media. We got to be out there in the public speaking our truth, sharing. Your book is your story. It's your life story. I was a part of your journey with you on this, so I, I know this, you know. Um, and and the message in the book isn't just about singers and actors going through it. We go through this. Your book is great for the world. So put yourself out there. If you want to niche it, well, you know, look at your life themes and and the theme of your life that you keep facing. And there's where to go. This makes sense? Okay, let me go down. Yeah, we've gone over three minutes. Oh, well. I don't care because I'm here for you. All right. Um... Adrian, he says, my love life, Dave. Okay, well, that's not a question. Yet, okay, you have a, you're having a challenge with your love life. Well, I'm feeling, are you a bit internal, a bit shy? Um, when it comes to calling in the love that you want, um, you must be the love that you want. And you must visualize and, and, and understand the essences. You know what you don't want in love. But as human beings, we tend to focus on what we don't want, right? We tend to, you know, focus on the things that hurt us. Like, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to. So we must focus on what it is we want to call forth, what it is we want to be. Yes, what we want to be with us. Um, I knew when I, you know, finding the love of my life, you know, I'm, I'm being specific. I, I'm 43 years old. I've been through relationships. I know what works for me. I know what works up until this point in my life, right? I know what works that builds the love and enhances a love as a partnership. Now, my partner may not agree. So we've got to communicate. And if, Adrian, if you're internal, you get to practice vocalizing your feelings. Now, understand with that, I know this very well, I know this. When we vocalize our feelings, we then allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is beautiful, and also it's a challenge to build your strength. Because when we're vulnerable, people can play on those that vulnerability. And it, it's a skill. It's a practice that must be practiced. So, Adrian, that I share. Um, everyone, if you want an expansion of your reading or, you know, one-on-one -on -one time, visit my website, davidbeck.com. You spell it D-A-V-E-D-B-E-C-K. So you can say you've been daved. <laughs> All right. So, and then you can purchase a 15, 30 minute or one hour reading with me and we can really dive in. Um, Kenny, I see that you typed your name. Okay, cool. Ask your question. Kim, how can I support my older daughter during this time? By understanding she has her soul. She has her calling. Um... And, and really, this is an opportunity for you, Kim. This is Kim Kim's question. How can I support my da older daughter during this time? And I know the situation. I'm not... Um, I, I've known Kim for many years. Um, her husband emailed me on a situation. I'm not going to share that because that's not my truth to share. That is your daughter's truth to share and come to. And... And if someone is not ready to stand, you know, if someone is coming into their truth, if someone is, we must honor that. We must, uh, that's love. You know, we can choose to not, but then we're living in a place of fear, right? So we honor and support and, and ask questions, ask questions, um, because this is a learning for everybody. Um, support groups, 
um, internet research, looking for, um, your daughter's not the only one that has her feelings. Others share the same thing. So building like-mindedness, you know? Okay. Kim, I, I know that supports you, but if you have more questions, ask. Um, Adrian, should I ask Will to take our relationship to the ne next level? Well, I'm going to say this one thing. Um, I'll, I'll say this and then I'll add to it. Um, I don't live my life by shoulds. Why are you shooting on yourself? Stop shooting on yourself. There's a challenge. No more shoulds. You could ask Will to take your relationship to the next level. It's a risk that you get to take. If your heart is calling to you, why allow fear to stop you? It allows you both to communicate. Maybe, maybe Will isn't ready. I'm not saying he is or he's not because I'm not, he's not here. Yet, what if that, what if that's what he's been waiting for? What, it always takes one person to go first. And then you take that risk of maybe hearing that rejection that I'm not ready for that yet. You know, let's take it, you know, and then that becomes your choice to move forward or not. Um, I feel really good about it, Adrian. I, 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 again, if you're, so that means, am I correct with, are you the internal? Because it's, should I ask, Will? If you're not an external, then you would have asked already, right? <laughs> I say go for it. I mean, you know, if that's what your heart is calling you to do. All right. Colette, yes, you have a whole chapter. Yes, everybody, please check out Colette's book. Um, there's a whole chapter of our readings um, and how the lawsuit that she went through, I had predicted and, and even coached her through. Um, so it's... It, <laughs> What a pain to go through for someone, but she fought through it and 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 she's really she really is helping the world, Colette. So congratulations. I know it's a challenge, but you're 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 creating your legacy. Your legacy will continue on. So just remember that. You gotta Stand in your legacy and allow your legacy to shine in front of you and keep hold of that vision no matter what fights, arguments, people that want to push and stand and and point fingers in your face. You got to stand in your knowing of who you are and what you see and your truth. That's not for, for just Colette. That's for everybody. Yes, that's for myself. That's for everybody. That's with what's going on in the world. We can see this is the opportunity and the time for us to just keep standing in love. Love. I don't know if you define love like this. Love doesn't name call. Love doesn't belittle. Love doesn't shame. Love doesn't put another person down publicly or even just internally so define love for yourself and be willing to stand in that and stand in the integrity of that and then our lives enhance and as we enhance and we're happier the world does become happier but with the planets are kind of crazy right now they're all like in different like retrograde and alignments and we have the moon coming and you know we don't want to place blame in, blame in the planets or blame on outside but it's all energy and we do get affected by it and we contribute to it and we're not perfect yet we're perfect the way we are we just must continue to understand that our life is a practice and we're learning as we go all right I just went on. Colette says, yes, makes a lot of sense. Thank you. You're so welcome. Um, I was literally just thinking about you, and then my phone notified me you were live. That was wild. I love that, Claire. So what's your question, girl, if you're still here? See, I love, I love. Okay, so, and this happens all the time, but I don't know Claire. I mean, I may have met her once somewhere at an expo or something, but Claire's not um, an intimate 
friend of mine. Um, and, you know, again, I live in a place of an angel's always on call. <laughs> I'm an angel, people. I'm an earth angel, as well as you are, too. So, um, <laughs> just in an awareness of people will say, date, think David, and then, boom, I'm texting or calling them, or I show up. So, <laughs> hello, Claire, I am here at your service. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's funny, right? Okay. Um, oh, shoot. There's so many, Claire, and I'm like, um, um, oh, gosh. I'm a, okay. Oh, Kim, I didn't know he me. Oh, Kim, yeah, he reached out to me as well for t looking for the same question you have. So look at how in alignment you are with your husband. So, you know, that's rock on. So hope that doesn't upset you. Um... But you both came with the same question in support of your daughter. So I love that. Look at that, Kim. It just shows how you two are in sync. And right there, I do, that's beautiful too. Right there. Love that. All right. Stop shitting on yourself. That's so good. Yeah, Claire. Okay, so, you know, when people say to me, you should do this, you should do that. When they're like this in my face, should, should, should. You yeah, know. That's how you want to live your life. That's your place. That's a judgment. We judge people when we're shooting. And then we judge ourselves. Like, what should I do? What do you want to do? What's your heart calling you to do? And your heart may say, do nothing. Then do nothing. Hi, Angie. Okay. Okay. Now I'm to the end of the list. Like, I scrolled to see someone, if I answered them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this Facebook Live. <laughs> to read. But it works. I'm working it. Hi, Shannon. She says, good afternoon, Smiley. Um, I was literally, okay, I saw that. But then I scrolled and said, hi, Lori. I'm, I'm... Hi, Kenny. Kenny, you're typing your name. You, I, and I see you keep typing your name. Oh, Robert, your middle name is Robert. I said Robert, didn't I? Robert, okay, so, ah, uh, thank you, Kenny. Ah, uh -huh, Kenny, are you still here? Look at that, ah! Uh, okay, that gets me really excited that I'm getting your middle name because I was saying Robert, yes? Okay, so, now are you named after someone that's passed on? Oh, now I see, uh, that's, all, that's all good. Oh, it's all good, Kim, rock on. But, isn't that cool, Kim, how, like, I don't know, that message came through and you got like a sign showing you two are in alignment. So being that you're her parents and you two are in alignment, stay, okay, so the reading is continuing for you, Kim. Con continue in knowing, don't let your fears, because we can get there, Kim, you can be there and like, what the heck is he thinking? And, oh, and it may seem like you two aren't maybe working together, but continue communication because you are working together. It's a sign you are. So if there's doubts, you're working together. Um, stop doubting yourself. This is her struggle, yet her beautiful opportunity into embracing herself and, 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 her spirit and 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 you know <laughs> all right um claire oh i'm still here my niece is visiting soon and we both want a phone reading i was wondering can you purchase one phone reading with both of us on the phone or do we both need to purchase oh that's purchase a phone call and you're absolutely an angel no doubt you have helped me through a lot Without even knowing it, you have given me a small reading over a Facebook Live video before, and it was, I don't know, loss of words on that one. Okay, was it right on? <laughs> Everything I've could, I have I could have needed and wanted. Okay, so I guess I'm assuming that was right on. Rock on. Claire, um, I would recommend, I mean, if you want... <sighs> If you want two individual readings, but you want to share it together, I recommend doing double the time. So if you want 15 minutes for you and 15 minutes for her, you want to do, because I'm going to be getting both your energies. Um, if you want 30 minute, you know, for you, 
you know, I mean, if you want to get a 30 minute, I can do 15 minute with you, 15 minute with her, you know, so, um, I hope that answers your question. Um, and you know, you can email me David D A V E D at D A V E D B E C K dot com. And you know, people, I went fifth, 20 minutes. I was supposed, this was a three minute challenge, but let's turn this into a three minute challenge. Okay. So three minutes a day. You got three minutes, right? When you're folding back your sheets to crawl in bed, you know, do this before you go to bed. Do it in the morning, right? Um, three minutes. Just think about love. Think about how you were love during the day. Now, maybe you'll go, oh, I wasn't so loving. Well, think about how you could be loving in that situation or how you can transform into love in that moment. Just embrace the love. No, whatever hardships we come into, whatever challenges, whatever fights, what, there's love there somewhere, you know, because you're love. And it's just somewhere we've got to embrace that, okay? So... Take three minutes for yourself. Take three minutes to reflect. Take three minutes to visualize your future. Take three minutes. Oh, oh, someone wants to go live like camera with me. All right, um, let's do it. Why not? For a few minutes. Oh, they went away. Okay, maybe that was an accident. <laughs> I, I went to... Oh, well, if you want to go get on camera with me, go for it. I think you just hit something over here somewhere. I see I can wave. Oh, I could bring you on camera. Can you guys bring me on camera? Hmm. All right, L let's do another question. I'll give you a couple more minutes. Anyone else got a question? Someone's saying, ha, 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 Colette, what's the ha, 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 ha? <laughs> what are you ha, 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 ha at? <laughs> <coughs> Questions, heart. Oh, I, thanks for the hearts. Thanks for this thumbs up. I love it. I love it. I love your heart back, too. Thumbs up to you, too. <laughs> thumbs up. Um, oh, and if you're in the Chicagoland area... Starting September 10th, Monday evenings from 8 to 9 p.m., I'm going to be teaching a dance class. So, Monday nights, 9 North Main Street in Lombard, the Dance Center. It's a studio that I taught at for 12 years. Um, the title of the dance class is Adult Jazz. Um, jazz is the basis of everything funky for me. So, um... We're going to be grooving, you know, we may disco, we may, we're just, we're, we'll be dancing. Um, you'll be probably sliding on the floor. Um, and it's an adult class. Um, I've taught adults since I was 14 years old in dance. Um, so come on out. It's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Ben, I just got fired from an eight-year position. Just hoping everything turns out better than it has been. Read me. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations on getting fired. Because that means that experience has come to an end. And it's time for you to start your next chapter. Yes? Now, do we want to be hearing that? No. Do, of course... Fear is going to come in. You're going to be freaking out because maybe you're not making enough. The theme is going to be enough, Ben. You're not doing enough. You're not making enough. All these thoughts of enough are going to come in. This is what fear does, right? And this is your opportunity to be... Everything's going to be great because this is your opportunity to be going, I want to be doing this. Um... I keep seeing colors. I keep seeing... Whenever I see colors like this... Uh, ben... Uh, I, I, and I, I know you too, but I don't know you. You're... 
are you doing hair? Did you stop doing hair? Are you in cosmetology? I feel as though I want you to be focusing on this. I feel as though I also want you to be entering a contest. I feel as though I keep seeing a TV. I keep seeing a TV. I want to I want to encourage you. I don't know. Are there any artistic sh what artistic TV shows do you watch because I feel as though you must enter this. And immediately now I want to say RuPaul's Drag Race. And then you just type drag queen after I say that. So. Hmm. Did you enter RuPaul's Drag Race? Have you entered RuPaul's Drag Race? Um, maybe that was just to let me know that you are. You all saw me looking this way and then I looked there. Drag queen. Okay, so you saw that, guys. <laughs> um, I've been debating almost applied the last two years. Okay, thank you. Ben, you keep stopping yourself. Almost. I've been debating. Why debate? Your heart is... And why this is. This is just fear. You're afraid of that rejection. That's what's stopping you. There's, there's that... And, and yet you're fierce, right? You put yourself out there. You put yourself out there in front of judgment. You're putting yourself, you're fighting through that judgment. Fight that judgment within yourself. Stop debating. Apply. What do you have to lose? And then it keep applying. But you've stopped yourself for two years now. No, 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 no more stopping yourself, right? Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. All right. Um... Colette says, yes, getting fired can be the best thing ever. Ben, I love my real career so much too, though. Um, and you can have both. But I, I, you can have both. And I'm saying there's a, there's a but in there. I feel restricted. Um, I feel restriction in, when, when in other career. And I, I see a tie and I feel, do you wear a tie in your other career? Is it a desk jo type job? Is it, I feel suffocated with that. Maybe there's an aspect to where you can blend both. I don't know. Yet I feel as though you're torn and your focus needs to be on your free spirit, on your, and your heart calling. Stop. And, and, and if you're doing it as a drag queen, right? If you're st somewhere you're, and here there's this aspect of you being free, fearless as a drag queen, but yet even in the being a drag queen, push through that fear, Ben. Push through that fear, and there's going to be a shift. Okay? Thanks, boo. Love you. Been fired from every job I've always had. Always So not worried about that. I'm a zookeeper. What's the, okay, so what's the tie thing in suffocation? Were you suffocated? I don't, what? Maybe that was suffocating yourself. Maybe it was too stifling. I, I don't know. Push through that fear, but yet you're, you're fired from every job. So check yourself. What's the theme of getting fired, right? Or is it, um, you're working and you're working and you're working and you're working and you're really not liking it and you're just doing it until someone fires you until you get that rejection, right? Because that's what happens when we reject ourselves. We keep rejecting ourselves. We keep rejecting ourselves. We keep rejecting what it is we want, right? We keep pushing it away and, and, and then not doing those steps to be accountable and to doing what it is we want. So then we get that rejection. We push it until it rejects us back rather than just walking away when we feel that, right? If we're showing up to things late, lateness is a big, huge sign of fear. It means, will they still love me? Will they still like me? Um, well, you know, lateness also means you're only thinking about yourself. Fear has you in a place of it's only all about you, right? So it, it also, it's, it's fear then is infecting how you value others how you value because how you value others is really also how you value yourself it's a reflection of it's it's a reflection so um yes the job has stifled my passion for this career you're right 
I've just been waiting to get fired to move on instead of just moving on my own accord. Awesome. And congratulations because you own that. You acknowledge that. And so therefore, you know what to do. Rock on, dude. <laughs> All right. This was way over three minutes. Oh, well. Um, I don't feel like it's a failure because look at how many people we've done in a half an hour, 30 minutes. <laughs> so we just add a zero to that three. All right, everybody. Visit my website, davidbeck.com. Um, go to the online store page. Get yourself a reading. It will change your life because you'll be the one taking those steps. And I'll be telling you like it is because I don't filter. <laughs> I That would be judgment. I, I, I got to give it to you as it comes. All right. Love yourselves. Later.